So what we're doing worked. So um, since it worked, what we're gonna do is since what we're doing worked, let us redirect um, to the page we're coming from. So we re uh, redirect to route.show and we're opening uh, the project with the, this project ID and we're passing a success message saying um, user was added to project. Uh, user was added to project successfully. So um, some other thing you can do instead of putting user, you can just put an email, the email of this user. You can just say that the user with this email So this is basically whatever email the user entered was added to the project successfully. All right. <clears throat> that is if this was successful, since um, it is there, we can actually put it inside to make sure that if this was successful, say user was added to the project successfully. And um, but if it is not, um, we can get back to the same project and say add error adding user error adding user project so back to the same project we we'll give another message and this time it's an error um i hope you understand is it error or errors that we have i hope you understand what is happening and um how it is being displayed or what we actually did here um, after attaching user to the model, this basically creates that join table, a record in that join table. This attach creates a record in that join table. And once that record is created, we can then um, redirect to the page we are just coming from and tell the and give the person a success message. I think this is errors. Otherwise, uh, we can just show up here and give her a failed message. Do you understand? So thank you very much. What else do you think could be done here? You could do other crazy stuff here, but we're just basically trying to get it to work on our system. Let's in the next video, what we're gonna do is um well, uh, let's just continue from this video. So uh, we're supposed to pass something to the view, as you can see here, we're passing project and the ID of the project. We're passing this variable and we're loading up this stuff to the ID. So since we're loading up this stuff, what we're going to do is to go and actually access the project uh, variable in our shoulder blade. So inside our shoulder blade, as you can see, project variable is already available everywhere. Let me show you. There's project name, project description, and so on and so forth. So we're basically looking for a way to look through and get the users. So what we can do from here is to create a loop and say at forage. So, um, okay, so we can say for it, for each project users, project, oops, project, remember we have a user's uh, model as a user. In our project method, we have this user's a project model. We have this user's method. So we're saying for each of the users as user, we are going to simply um, end for each and for each to do so we just do this I bought a new keyboard and my keyboard is just messing up sometimes alright so we we'll delete these other ones we're trying to list all the projects so inside there we can start using user to list all the project we can just do user email this is going to the users table and picking up the email of this user now this is enough to actually list our users for us so let's quickly check whether what we did even worked at all so um, to do that so we'll do end for rich and for rich okay so we'll come here and we'll refresh this page So our page has refreshed now and we don't have any team members. So can we start, can we just try and add a team member? 
Um, so far, I just have only one user in the database, which is basically me. Let's check the user we have in the database. So there we are in our P Manager account. So I'm just trying to cross check. Click, click on Browse the users we have registered already. So or we can know the user to add. We don't just have, want to have an error. So there's only one user, which is me. So I'm just gonna save um, Dave Ozalo. That's my email. So I'm gonna open it and um, add. So if everything works well, we'll see a beautiful notification here. Oh, our page expired. We're going to visit it again. Oops. Um, okay, so I'm going to refresh this page. And uh, add this. Click. Um, why is it expiring due to inactivity? Oh, we're having that error due to CSRF um, token that we didn't add. Every form in Laravel must have a CSRF token. So inside the form tag, um, in between the form tags, I can just put a CSRF um, token here. So um, we're going to go to projects, go back and um, refresh the page. Now the page has refreshed. We're going to add, try to add it one more time. Click Add. If everything works out well, we'll see a beautiful message here. And then we'll see a new user here. So, but um, it doesn't work out. I think what we'll do is to pause this video. In the next video, we'll continue to fix this error. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. I wouldn't want this video to go long.